Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be discussing how exactly I scored a 507 on the MCAT. So my caveat is that I'm not the smartest person in the room and uh, by all means I do not think that a 507 is the best score that you can get either. It's in the 70th percentile so uh, you can certainly achieve higher scores. This is just what worked for me and getting me into medical school and also served um, as a great uh, learning curve for me, especially as a non-traditional student. As it worked out, I had ended up having a six year gap year. So it did take me a little bit longer, but I thought I'd make a quick video talking about uh, how I went through that journey. So when I first started out, I did a diagnostic practice exam to see where I was at, and I ended up getting a 487 on that, and that is an incredibly low score. Um, and for most people, you probably won't even ever get that score on a practice exam, but I did, and it just showed me that I had a lot of work to do, and um, these are the things that I implemented along the way to improve my score. So when I first started, I used exam crackers as uh, my theory-based learning, um, which is just a, a series of books that goes through each section. And I had really poor study habits, actually. Um, I didn't know how to study effectively. I was literally taking notes, sometimes verbatim. Um, but I supplemented with Khan Academy where I found it was necessary. And so that's what I used initially to get going. So about halfway through, I came across some methods of how to actually study effectively, which is really integral for me. And so I ended up implementing space repetition, active recall and memory palaces uh, to aid in everything. And uh, that significantly started to improve things for me. And also I uh, realized the importance of using question banks such as um, AAMC question packs and also New World question banks as well and Anki. So cars is a beast of its own and you need to get good at it because a poor score in that section will bring your overall score down. But what I used was a 30 day guide by testing solutions, which really, really significantly helped my score. Uh, when I first started, I was getting a terrible score on all those sections and in fact, wasn't even finishing the cars section. So what I found through that was it was very useful to keep to a four minute per passage uh, and then also one minute per question. So that allowed you ample time to get through all of the passages and uh, it was good just to go through and test yourself and, and keep to those specific time limits. So question packs are really helpful in teaching yourself how to stay on top of that strict time limit. Uh, but in addition to that, I found that reading aloud to yourself quietly, of course, was really helpful in that it uh, just helped me retain the information that I was reading. So here's why you shouldn't sleep on the psych section. Most students do find that it's a bit of an easier section, especially compared to the other science sections. But if you can put a little bit more emphasis on the psych section, uh, you can significantly lift your overall score. So I ended up doing that towards the end. I um, absolutely smashed Anki and actually listened to a, a great podcast that helped. Ended up, ended up scoring a 130 for the psych section, which I think was the 94th percentile for that individual section. Um, and so that's what happened to me. That obviously improved my overall score dramatically. So one of the most important things is that full length practice exams are your best friend. Uh, so it's really important to use these uh, space strategically throughout your study to not only measure where you're at, but also make sure that you're staying on top of things um, and you're learning the style of, of questions that are actually in the MCAT. So once you've gone through and done a practice exam, it's really important to actually then review that exam and understand the questions that you got wrong and why you got them wrong, and also the ones that you may have gotten right as a pure guess. Understand uh, the theory behind that as well. So for my full length practice exams, I got a 487, a 501, a 504 and then another 501. But most importantly, I use them all as uh, learning tools to understand uh, how the questions were structured and why I got those questions wrong. Um, on the actual exam, I ended up getting a 507, as you know, and that was enough to get me into medical school. So in closing, my thoughts are, you should learn how to study effectively you should do as many practice questions as you can through AMC question packs and also question banks. Um, in addition to that, get good at cars, absolutely nail the psych section, 
and then use your full length practice exams because they're absolute gold to you. All the best and I hope this helps. Thank you.